Hello, my friends, and welcome to the epic battle of epic proportions. The Vikings versus- Oh my god, how did that guy get that air? The Vikings versus the Samurai. Today, we are going to be going over the rest of the update. The next episode, are probably going to be taking some user-suggested stuff. So, uh, whatchamacall, we're going to be taking into account your guys' comments. Oh, dude, these Samurai. I'm surprised. These Samurai, look what they're doing. Just swing, swing, swing. Oh, decapitated. These guys are cold-blooded savages. So today we're going to be checking out the rest of the update, which is last time we checked out the chicken men, all versions of them. And today we're checking out the samurai and the vikings, and maybe some other maps too. But uh, these are pretty awesome because the thing with them is... Well, they're new, and also, they're just great. Like, okay, okay, listen, we're gonna... Oh, God, wait, which one did I do? Samurai. We're gonna have a bunch of lines of samurai on this side. It's just gonna be an epic battle of epic proportions. Hopefully, relatively even here. Our performance has hit bad. I don't care. It'll be good enough. 58 versus 58. The Vikings are on the more expensive side because they have shields to access, whereas these guys only have their swords, but these swords can prove to be very deadly. Let's see the damage they can do. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at them running at each other. Look at the Vikings swarming. The Vikings, the fact that they have a shield and a small little hand axe helps a lot, but the thing is, the samurai can- oh, oh my god, he was carrying his dead mate. Oh, the samurai can swing right over the shield. They don't really care. Like, those things? Th their swords actually have really great range. Oh my god, look at that. But like I was saying, next episode we're probably going to go over, uh, I'm gonna start doing some of your suggested battles. He just killed that poor man. Oh, he lost his sword. He's a, he's a zombie. He has nothing to fight for. This guy's using his circle tactics. Oh, he's about to die. Oh, oh, oh my god, it's in his dick. What? He came back with a sword in his dick. Oh my god, his balls are literally made of steel. <laughs> Okay, time to mix up the ranks a little bit. We're gonna go with some Vikings, uh, followed by a row of Samurai, and then some Vikings followed by a row of Samurai. Let's see how this goes. Like I was saying, um, if you guys do want, in the comment section, leave some suggestions for battles that you want to see. I'm thinking next episode of Totally Accurate, we will start taking those into account. Oh, Blue won that charge very well. We're gonna start taking those into account. But today, I do just want to mess around with the rest of these guys and see what they can do. That guy's climbing a rock. I don't know what you're doing. Uh, the reds are very outnumbered. The blues. Oh, the blues. Can the reds pull off an epic comp? Yeah, no. They're just getting slowly. See ya. <laughs> He's dead. Well, well, well. <clears throat> All right. Well, what I want to do now also, I want to head back into the campaign, right? Because there's some new levels for us to try out. There's some new levels. Actually, oh, I gotta unlock all of them. Yo, I already played through all of this. Ah, game. Okay. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna be playing the levels today. Then. I'm gonna get through some of those on my own. What I wanna see then today is how we're gonna have the chicken man. We're gonna have the Viking charge, right? We're gonna have a Viking with a small band. And today are going to be invading Japan. But the Japanese, they come in numbers. And they are not ready to die today. So can the small warband of Vikings that somehow made it all the way to Asia survive this? Oh my god, friendly fire. He stabbed himself. He committed Sudoku. He committed Sudoku. Oh boy. All right, well, these chickens are taking him out. Oh, see, that's the Viking secret. They had chickens at their disposal. And these chickens, the samurai, single-handedly lose to the chickens. Instead of making a chicken souffle, some stir fry, chopping them up as they're getting flung at them, they do nothing. You know what that means? Let's see how it. Let's see how he does. If it's if it's just the samurai, can they defeat him in this in this case? He's gonna have a good amount of chickens here. You can see him. He's 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 literally shitting his pants here. All right, he's scared of the samurai. Oh my god, god, these chickens are so deadly. Will they be able to get in on him quickly enough? I don't think so. Oh no, they barely got there. Oh, they only had a couple survivors. And the chickens are still murdering people. Speaking of that, what what am I thinking? Why aren't we playing on the Japan map if we have Sam, right? All right, well, what I want to see now, we're going to make some army corps here. We're going to start getting really advanced, right? We're going to introduce the muskets. This is going to be the feudal rate, feudal rage, feudal age of Japan where gunpowder started to get introduced. So at first we're going to have a line of samurai and then 
behind that line, or to the sides of that line. How about that? To the sides of that line, we're going to have some musketeers, right? And then they are going to be defending against a potential invader. Someone who's going to have cannons, because gunpowder. This is a gunpowder battle. And they will also have a couple of muskets at their disposal. Let's see how this battle goes. I, I want to see what this is. So this is like an enemy invasion. Alright, this is like a European invasion. They're sending their troops to try and invade Japan. They got the cannons. Oh, oh, dude, these musketeers have some range. And these guys got to ford the river? Oh, they don't care. They're coming for them. Oh, one cannon down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It was a valiant effort, though. But those muskets will finish them off. Also, sorry that I still do sound a little bit on the sick side. I am starting to get better. But uh, today, it's been pretty good. No sore throat. My throat hurts a little, but it's not like sore. It's weird to describe. I don't know. Uh, so here, the money was pretty even. So, you know, it makes sense. This is, this is a scenario that could have very well played out. Well, now... I also want to pit them. We're, we're doing this for honor style, right? I saw this is one of the comments in the last video, but we're going for honor style. And what that means, of course, is, uh, well, I want to take... Here we got some uh, samurai. And if we're playing for honor, that means they got to go up against the knights. And the knights, of course, are the footmen. So here, I'm going to add two more. So we can have an even 16 on 16. Wait, how's that math work? Wait a minute. Wait up, wait. 16 units, $1,000. Okay, listen. I, I have some basic math skills here. If that's 16 units, that should be $800. I don't know. Okay, let's see how this goes. The samurai versus the knights. Oh, dude, the samurai have way more range on their swords. I think the samurai might just be better versions of the footmen. I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, look at them. They're just stabbing each other in the face. All right, so the samurai win, actually, by a good margin. So in For Honor... This is kind of... Uh, speaking of that, the For Honor Alpha actually came out today, I think. I'm going to be trying to hop into some of that. Have some fun with that. Keep an eye out for that on the channel probably in the next day. For Honor is so much fun. I loved it when I got to play. But it, we're playing For Honor in the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator here. So here, let's have the Footmen against the Vikings. Because if you guys don't know, For Honor is three factions. Okay, so here the money is like... I, I don't know. For Honor is three factions. Those three being the Vikings the samurai and the knights and literally the cool thing is that in totally accurate battle simulator we can represent all three of those and currently how it's going i think the vikings suck look at him <laughs> oh that was so funny he was like holding him off with his shield like ah just bashing him over it so it appears that the footmen are better than this no the samurai are better than the footmen footmen are better than the vikings but now are the vikings better than the samurai that's what we're going to find out let's get 16 of them awesome how will this go vikings and the samurai i know we've done this before but this is this is on the this is on the samurai map this might go over differently there's even like a river they have to ford oh oh the samurai might actually lose here it's getting close look at him bash that poor fellow over the head look at that i love the way that he just lunges for huh so it's like a game of rock paper scissors hmm you know what? before we take that as fact it might be the sides that are screwing with things so on this side we had the vikings let's put the vikings on the right remember that vikings on the right 16 vikings on the right and then we're gonna have samurai on the left we're gonna see how this goes. This might act, this might go differently if the map actually matters, like which side you spawn on. That'd be kind of cool. It's the strategy taken into account. And also, I think when I told you guys, oh 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 my god, that sword just got flogged. Yeah, it looks like the samurai have the advantage. Well, crap. It's really. It looks like reds are just always winning this one. Oh, never mind. There's oh, it's gonna be close. With one survivor left. And a sword axe to his name. Damn. Ugh. Like I was saying though, I think you can actually play Totally Accurate Battle Simulator now. I was wrong. I think on November 15th is when they're going to have a public alpha or something like that. Where everyone has access to it. In the meantime, if you pre-order Cluster Truck, I think you get access to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator now. Which is pretty cool. So that's like, wow, I don't even know. But today, what we're going to do here is we're going to have a huge battle. This is going to be a mixed army, right? We're going to have a bunch of men here of all different sorts 
First things first, we're going to start with 15. Kind of spread out. And as they're spread out, we're going to start putting in some Vikings as well. And then after the Vikings are put in, we're going to put in the Foot Soldiers. And this way, the hope is that we have something kind of cool going on. Alright, so we start with the Samurai, now we need the Foot Soldiers. We want to get it up to like, that's good enough, we just want to get it to where it's like 43 versus 43. And we'll add a couple more here and there. So here we've mixed all three armies. Let's see how this goes. A mix of all the armies. Spaced out, ready to fight. I wish I picked a better map. Oh, friendly fire! Damn. These guys really, they they don't like each other. So They, they hate each other so much, they'll kill their own friends. All right, let's see how this battle goes. Bash him in the head. Oh, that Viking comes. He did well. The samurai, the reds, the blues, everyone dead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we got a small band of blues. Oh, that's the last of the blues. Oh, no. Blues, no. Oh, my God. That dude's doing some heroic stuff. Did you see him? Just like, whatcha? Murdered a poor man. All right, let's go on a better map. The hills. There's no variance in this. This is flat out what we're used to. Nothing but some hills. I, I hear a friendly fire going on, which is always sketchy, but... Oh, dude, those Vikings are savages. They run right at the enemy. No regard for human life. Look at that. Look at this battle unfold. Oh! Oh, that man. He just died. God, I, I just love their movements so much in this game. They're so derpy. Oh, did he just kill someone? That guy just died, and as he was dying and his sword was falling, that just killed his friend. That's amazing. Also, I love how the swords fly around. Oh, they're being knighted. This guy's dead. No way he survives. He's running for the hills. Oh! He just got tomahawk to the face. That was a 1v3. I don't think that was going to go too well for him. All right, well, why don't we incorporate something a little uh, extra fun here? Let's get a one of those in the back. Oh, what the hell? Dude, this isn't Call of Duty. Stop doing 360 no scopes. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, well, I think the, the Reds have an unfair advantage here. <laughs> but nonetheless, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Where did that... Okay. I love the way that that guy rides on top of the Watcha. Yeah, the Reds are at an advantage here. But there's also a good amount of friendly fire. So at the, if the Reds lose, then I should be... They're outnumbered right now. Oh, it might be a tie. I don't know. Oh, smiting them in the head. Brutal. These guys are... Oh, they, they swung at the same time. That's some synchronized swinging. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, the Reds did win. Okay, they should have. They should have. Let's try to put this guy in a better spot this time where he won't actually die. There we go. And let's see how it goes now. Okay, what? It's, why? Why? Oh my god, this is... <laughs> Who hired this guy? Why does the Blue Army not know how to train Quachas? Do you guys see this? Is the guy under there still alive? <laughs> that guy's still alive! Okay, how's the rest of the battle unfolding after the massacre of their own men that happened here? Look at this guy, he's stuck, he's like, I'm trying to get my- Oh! No, no sword for you, mister. No sword for you. Where's the last guy? What are these guys doing? Oh. The last guy is a dead man. And the last Viking has fallen. Alright. I don't know where we could possibly put this thing, where- it, what, I'm, I'm putting it in the front. I'm putting it in the front. Let's see what you can do, Huacha. Go, fire. The opening volley. There we go. Nice. Nice. You're getting some hits in. The thing is, the second volley is open. That's sending in some shots. Oh, beautiful shots they are. Oh, Jesus! Beautiful shots they are. I don't know if that was a wheel or a shield, but something just flew off into the distance. And the mob of blues. The blues finally pull out a win! As swords are flying everywhere. Huh. I wonder if the placement actually... If, let's put the Quacha on the front. Will this do like a big difference here? Will the, or the, will the Quachas just shoot each other? I think they might. Yeah, they got each other. Oh, even if the guy dies, the Quacha keeps shooting. Alright, well, that didn't do much dam- Oh, it did some damage. Did a little bit. That guy's off. Oh, he's drawing half the army. Dude, these are some tactics they're using. They're baiting. They're gonna get- Oh, they're baiters. These guys- These guys are masters at baiting. Look at that. Look at that. I've never seen those tactics used before. Oh my god! Did you just see that guy? He just swung backwards. He tried to get him with like the no look behind the head. Just like, yeah, I saw you. That guy's trying to fight with fists. 
That dude was dodging people left and right. Oh, that dude. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. the ultimate show of dominance. This is this samurai is a god. Oh my god. He didn't get the last kill, unfortunately. Dude, that samurai. Oh my god. Okay, now what I want to do here, I want to get a line of muskets, and then I have one more idea before we call it potentially. So a line of muskets, a couple lines of muskets. Let's see how that goes. We got the opening volley. Fire! Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Men are starting. Oh, they're dropping left and right. The musketeers lay in the back. I won't. You know, oh, 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 I just love watching everything fly. The battles. Oh, look at that. That sword was connected tip to tip. They were touching tips. Jesus. Oh, this. That man's gonna get shot. The blue has him in his sights. He doesn't know how to aim, but he has him in his sights. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him. Oh! Right in the knee. That dude just took a bullet to the knee. Ow. All right, now last idea before we call it, right? Check this out. What we have here is a small, small band of Vike, or a small band of samurai. And what we have on the other side is a large band of everything else. One... Now let's see... Let's go one verse 100. Can a single... Uh, we'll go four. We'll go five verse 100. Let's see how five samurai can fare against the peasant uprising. I think they have a good chance. Like, these swords are very lethal. Look at that. One kill. Okay, you missed, dude. You gotta actually hit those shots. And yeah, look at that. Oh! The behind the back! Oh! Oh my god, no. Okay. I kind of underestimated our samurai. JK, not underestimate, I overestimated. Let's get... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go with that. Twelve samurai. Can twelve samurai hold off the peasant uprising that is happening? I just want to see them do badass things. Like, look at this. Oh, okay, that wasn't badass. That was Sudoku. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, he didn't even... He, did, he just lost his sword. He didn't even die. Come on, Samurai. You gotta get some kills. Oh, no. They're being overwhelmed. Samurai, get out of there! Oh, they're being swarmed by the zombies. Look at him. His brains are being eaten. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Will 20 Samurai be able to do it? And maybe if the Samurai are tighter together, maybe that'll be better. They'll be able to swing more efficiently. Like, they'll take out lines of them. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's some efficient swinging. Okay, there you go. They're doing- Oh! My god, that's the thing with these samurai swords. They become like projectiles. They just fly. No, the zombie horde, well, he just became a kebab and he's on the end of that sword. Dude, that sword's in him. Oh my god. Alright. We might have to go a little bit more reasonable here. Let's go with 50 samurai. If 100 peasants can beat a 50 samurai, that's actually kind of impressive because samurai costs way more. And I'm hearing friendly fire. Why is there friendly? It's probably because I spawned them in too close, to be fair. I should space them out a little. Oh, these guys are charging. Look at that. These guys are charging. This is going a little better. Okay, not a lot better. Most of them are dead again. Oh my god. There's not a lot of hope. That's the last man. And again, he gets swarmed. Huh. I actually, if we do a hundred samurai, will these guys win? Maybe it's because my placement isn't the best too. Let's do a little bit of placement work, something like that. If this, if we, this is the last battle of the day. If a hundred samurai can't beat a hundred peasants, we are doing something wrong. Now samurai love to betray each other apparently, but if, if they can't beat a hundred peasants, I just don't know. I honestly do not know. Because the reds now have the horde mentality, but they also have more lethal weapons. Unfortunately, they also do have friendly fire, and friendly fire, as you just saw, is quite common. Look at, like, the fact that the peasants were able to take out that many samurai is kind of impressive. They had to call reinforcements, but they got it to work. They got it to work. Okay. 50. Let's see if 50 can do it. I want to see, like, a reasonable number where the samurai can take out the peasants, or where it's, like, a close battle, at least. Why do you keep on hurting each other? I hear those noises of pain. Alright. It just seems like when there's less, the peasants are better at swarming. Like, look at- oh god, that guy just stabbed himself. 
Oh, dude. See, when they get in that giant mob, there's just no stopping that. Oh my god, are they trying to 69? Jesus Christ. What are you doing, you weirdos? We're on the battlefield. This is not the time nor the place. 50 peasants, or twice as many peasants. Two to one ratio can take out. Actually, we'll see if he can do some epic stuff. Yeah, no, not epic enough. That was surprisingly close. I think that's as close as it's gonna get. Now let's see if this is scalable. Can two peasants take on one samurai? How scalable is this affair? Can two normal men, two men, if you pick two random men out of the United States, could they take on a professionally trained samurai? No, they really cannot. So I guess it's not a sense of scale. It's the fact that, let, let's go with the four here. It's the fact that the samurai get stuck on each other and they can't swing efficiently. Because here, you can see in like a 1v1, they really are a lot better than you think. And here, this might get a little bit closer. Oh no, he got the double kill. One samurai can do a lot of work. You know, if we, if we, ah, if we space out these peasants, like think about it. If we space out these peasants a little bit, like there's a good chance here that... This guy could take on a lot before he dies. One versus seven, can one samurai take on 17 peasants? The thing is, there is a chance that he can do this. Just if we space him out right, look at that. Poo, poo. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, he's gonna die. Yeah, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. Oh, no, he's still going. He's still going. Look at that. Look at that stabbing. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. that was almost an epic comeback. <laughs> All right, let's let's try that again. I'm giving that samurai another chance. He was pulling off some epic tactics there. Come on, samurai, I believe in you. Oh, come on, let's go, let's go. Take him out one by one, one by one, baby. Okay, that was you died quicker. I'll give you one more chance, samurai. What's the high score you can get on this train of things? I I will literally space it out even more for you. I will give you some pity. I will give you some mercy. I'll space him out. Eleven verse one. Look at that, you have plenty of time in between people, man. If you can't do this samurai, you don't deserve to be a samurai. Come on, come on, there you go. Watcha! Oh, oh, dude, he missed, oh god. Oh, look at those moves! Look at those moves! Oh my god, the ultimate badass! Oh, now he had a little break before, oh, this is this one's a little bit of a tighter cluster. Oh my god, oh! Hmm. Hmm. I want to give him one more go because that got surprisingly quick and surprisingly good. Let's see if this... 1v10. 1v10. This is what I want to see. If one samurai can take on 10 peasants, I'll be happy leaving it off there. Quacha! Right in the face. Quacha! Oh, you meant... Oh, Jesus. Oh, right in the dick. Right in the face. Oh, dude, you messed up. That was a bad run. That was a bad run. That was a bad run. Okay, that guy, he wasn't into it, right? Didn't have his cup of coffee in the morning. He didn't, uh, he didn't get his, uh, pre-ritual in, you know. He didn't play that game of Connect 4, the lucky game of Connect 4. He didn't rub his, uh, horseshoe he got from his horse named Swifty. Oh, this is going a lot better. They're a little bit tighter. He can't do it. Look at that face of disappointment. He just can't do it. Ah, it was a valiant effort, though. It might be because the spacing's a little bit weird at some points. I don't know. Let's see if maybe... Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. One last fight. This is it. This is the final battle. I promise this time. This will be it for the samurai. One. Two. Oh, there you go. He's knocking him right out. He's bopping him on the head. Samurai. Oh, no. Don't get don't get hit in the head. Oh, God. They both survived. Come on. I gotta use the moves. Oh. Oh. Look at those moves. Oh, now he's running. Okay, this isn't a good tactic. You're gonna clump them together. That's gonna get you killed. Oh. That's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye my friends.